and welcome to this walkthrough of the automated prompt optimization feature available with the analysis skill kit. This feature helps to remove the guesswork when exploring how to write a good prompt. So it actually reviews how a particular prompt performs against a given data set and then offers a version that is optimized for your particular outcomes. So the way that it works, you know, the user will come in, they'll draft a prompt for a custom skill, and then we actually go into the prompt performance tab. Now, if you've worked with evaluations in the past, you might be used to this being the evaluation tab, but we've combined it together um, to just say prompt performance. Now, the first thing that we need to do is actually collect the records that we want to use to help conduct the evaluation. Now, for automated prompt optimization, we do need a minimum of 100 records. So we're going to create a new data set, just called KBA APO. And you can either create a data set using results directly from a table, or if you're using Nalsys Data Kit, which we do recommend, you can actually go ahead and use any of your published data collections. Now, the reason we recommend this is just this allows for you to do repeated testing based upon a data set shared across multiple custom skills. You can go ahead and add golden uh, responses, ground truths to each of these records as well. Um, so you have a lot more options and flexibility in terms of kind of getting that golden data set ready um, to share across custom skills. But for this demo, we'll just be collecting data directly from the knowledge article table. And as mentioned, we need a minimum of 100 records to conduct automated prompt optimization. So we're just going to say 101 for the maximum number of records. We can generate a preview and see what the lo this looks like. And then the bottom here is where you need to complete the mappings. So this just lets the evaluation process know from this data set, where is the input to the custom skill? So if we go back for a second, on the left here is where we have our input, which is a knowledge article record. So we want to make sure that we just say, hey, in this data set, we just pass the entire record in. If we had an input that was perhaps just a short description, we would have to use the pill picker here and go through and click on short description to bring that in. But since we're passing the entire record in, we just click on KB Knowledge and just have it appear there. We don't need to provide a golden response for automated prompt optimization, but that is best practice if you are conducting evaluation runs, as this allows for the judge models when they're essentially evaluating your prompt to see what the expected output looks like. However, we don't use that today in automated prompt optimization. But once you're happy with our data set, we click Create. And then we add an optimization run. So we're going to call this APO version 2. We select which prompt we want to optimize. And then you need to describe the task that you're trying to accomplish with this prompt. So we're going to say Categorize the knowledge article based on the list provided within the prompt and then ensure the category aligns with the keywords of the knowledge article. So we're just going to describe what we're going to try to accomplish with this prompt. We can then open up advanced inputs and we can add a persona that the skill should represent. 
in this case we can just say that it's probably a knowledge manager and then we can also say what out format we want the response in so using the example there what we can say is we just want the response to be category and then return the category we click next we then select the data set that we want to use Again, we can filter out specific ones. We can generate a preview based upon that filter. And then we can see how many records we want to actually include, just as a maximum. Now, although the minimum is 100, we do recommend 500 records. It's just based upon the result of our testing, this, that was the best number um, to get the best results. We'll click Continue, and then Start Optimization. Now, I will say this does take some time to complete because we are running the skill across 100 individual different records and then conducting the actual evaluation of results and then generation of a new prompt. So there's a lot that goes into this. So for the sake of time, I'm going to abort this run and go to one that I conducted just prior to recording where it was on the same data set. We passed in the same response format. And these are the results. We can see the results, um, the evaluation in terms of how did the prompt perform against correctness and faithfulness. And then you can see both the initial prompt and the optimized prompt. And then down here we can see how did each of these prompts perform against these individual records. Now this includes a site aligning it against the correctness metric, which essentially is asking, hey, is the output from the LM accurate given the source material? And then faithfulness, which looks to see, is it hallucinating? Is it coming to some unsupported conclusions? And then we have latency, which looks at how long does it take to receive a response? With these results, you can either export as a report for some deeper analysis, or you can use select to use the optimized prompt based upon these results. So that's a walkthrough of the automated prompt optimization tool available with the analysis skill kit and is available for everyone who is on at least Xanadu patch 9 and Yokohama patch 3. Thank you.